This is Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. In this tutorial of PhotoP, we're going to show you how to take an image and make it pop like this, where you put the stroke around the outside. We've got Dwight here, obviously yelling fire or yelling something, Jim, or, you know, we can all imagine. At any rate, we'll jump into it. Here's how we do this. Uh, we, first of all, we just open up PhotoP. Might be lagging a bit today. It was earlier. I shut off my computer and started again. Not relevant, but we'll see. So file, new. I'm going to use something large this time, Facebook, uh, here to here. And I will have the image available for you to try this exact image, and then you can try one on your own. Okay, so file, open in place. Fits fairly well. Um, I'm going to take off the transform controls. And now I'm going to select it. This one selects not bad, um, not awesome. So a quick selection tool, and we'll play around with this a bit. So, of course, we have to authorize it. Not sure if I said the word right. Never do. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it there. I played around with it quite a bit, and you'll see it's on add. So I'm going to hit subtract. I'm going to try to subtract a few spots uh, in here, and I think I was successful at doing some of this too. Um, maybe even that. I'll try in here. Not bad. I'm going to leave it. I was playing with it before and it was jumping all over the place. So I'm just going to go refine edge here like so. And you're probably familiar with this already, but we're going to just come in and we'll fix this up a bit here. So uh, I'm going to paint black with a fairly big one initially. And it is still lagging. I can see it's and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to come right across there like this and paint that in black. Get rid of that. I don't care about the firewall protection. Yeah, it's really usually it's pretty good today. I don't know why it's the lag. It might be our internet connection. I'm going to use the bracket key right here, and I'm going to make the, the brush much smaller. And I'm going to come in and try to paint this as nice as I can. I'm not going to do a perfect job. I'm going to let. I'm going to actually pause the video right now, and I'm going to select everything nicely. And you can do the same thing, and then we'll start up again in a second. Okay, so I've been going back and forth. I'm not done yet, but I decided to turn the video back on and just show you a couple more things. So in here, right here, I'm going to zoom in as far as I can. I'm going to make the brush. And again, we can use the bracket key to make the brush bigger and smaller. Um, I'm not sure if in the previous videos I went over this particular feature. That's why I decided to do it. I'm going to go really small in here. So it comes up in here nice. Now, if you look over here, it's quite a sharp look. And I'm going to try to get rid of that red first so let's i'm still painting black so i'm going to go in here right here i think the red is in that area a little better a little bit down below here okay so now you look and you see it's quite sharp so what you can do is you click the gray and we can zoom in and i can make if you look at the width of that right there it's roughly the same width as that was what i've got we can make the brush slightly larger if you wanted to and then you can just run right along the edge trying to get half the shirt and half the background kind of split the difference and if you do that you come down through here you'll see it makes it much more realistic now there's something we have to do we have to get rid of this area here because it'll try to what we're going to do is we're going to do the um, uh, stroke effect it'll try to stroke around any little pieces sticking out so you kind of got to be aware of that I fell into that trap a little earlier. I'm going to come back and clear that out here. Oh, I'm trying to paint on the wrong side. So I think it's right in this area here. Yeah. And just be pair looking through here. Make sure there's no little pieces sticking out because, again, it will stroke that out. And you'll see in a second we'll, when we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to come up. I'm going to finish up. I'm going to pause a bit up in here, and I'm going to play around with it a little bit. What you're going to do is back and forth between painting over stuff that's missing, painting over stuff that you don't want there, and then you're going to do split the difference right here with the gray and give yourself a nice transition so that it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, it's pretty good. I could have done a better job, and hopefully you will do a much nicer job. Um, I'm just running out of time here. So, you, like I said, you got to do a cursory look around the outside. Make sure there's no little straggling pieces because it will it will it will uh, stroke around that, and it won't look quite nice. So, uh, I've got it on a new layer. New layer. I'm going to click OK, and you'll see the new layer comes up right here. And now you can turn the back on, background back on and off. There you go there. And we can turn it on because in this case, we want to see the stroke. And if we don't have the background on, we won't see the white stroke. So we're going to double click this layer here. And we're going to create stroke. 
and right now it's red if you like red leave it uh, then you're going to click now when you click stroke this is not all the stroke options you have to double click it again and then of course you can come in here and you can change this to white and move it over and have a look at it and, and you can bring it up larger to make it look a little bit more poppy see here the you see right there it's it's gone around done a funny thing right here that's because in this area there must have been something there so again if you get this and you just go back and, and refine tune it a bit and and fix that up but this looks not bad for what i'm trying to achieve today um, now of course you could leave it there like that you can turn things off and on you can change the color you could do a sec you could do a second stroke if you wanted to get uh if you wanted to really make it pop you could come up here you could add yet another stroke and click okay uh well, let's let's find finish that stroke you come into this stroke here you can make this stroke maybe a different color just for fun uh let's go with pink and then you could of course come and make the size change the size and you could bring it the second stroke out or you could make that second stroke inside right you can play around with it so there's different ways to do that so again it's pretty laggy today i'm not sure why maybe there's a lot too many people on the website it's not normally this this laggy so uh that looks pretty good i'm going to unstroke that and leave it off but you, again you can say like i said you can play with a bunch of different strokes and of course if this was dwight we all know that he would be yelling something and his famous quote really or his famous thing that he says the most i think is i think he famously yells that pretty often okay so and you can make that even bigger if you're thinking you know you could make it huge uh, 160 probably something like that and there we go that's it thanks for watching so now what i want you to do is find some sort of cool image and make it pop like this same idea throw some text up in there if you want to and for an exclamation point um thanks for watching